The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello viewers, welcome to Chungu Chajami. I'm your host Eunice Mugo. Today on the show we've prepared a topic on rebellious in children. Are your children rebelling? Why do you think they're rebelling? On the show, I have a guest who is going to introduce herself. But before she does so, you can send in your question across all our social media handles. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 2144. Welcome, guest. Thank you so much. My name is Pastor Lydia Jogona. And I'm born again. I love the Lord. I'm so excited to be in your show today. And I believe that uh, we are going to go well. Welcome so much, Pastor Lydia. Thank you so much. Our topic today is on the rebellion in children. Mm -hmm. Why? What is rebellion first? Uh, I think rebellion is being resistant. Mm -hmm. You see, when someone is said to be a rebellious person, it means there's something that person is resisting from. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're giving this direction and the person resists mm -hmm. from following that direction mm -hmm. to being on a different assignment. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's how I take rebe rebellion to mm -hmm. be. Yes. And uh, it's, it, having said that, uh, mm -hmm. it's not going to, according to the, the rules or the assignment that you've give, been given, mm -hmm. how do we deal with our children now that they have closed for the long term? Mm -hmm. How do we deal with them? How do we tell that this is just disobedient mm -hmm. and now this is rebelliousness? One, you see, with rebellion, mm -hmm. it does not just start when the school has been closed. Mm -hmm. A child who is rebellious, you'll start seeing from as the child comes up. Because mm -hmm. uh, if I may quote the Bible, the Bible says that train a child in the ways of the Lord, mm -hmm. that they may go through them. Mm -hmm. Even when they are old, they will mm -hmm. not depart from them. And even if they depart, mm -hmm. they eventually they shall come back. Yes. So it comes with training. Mm -hmm. If a parent has trained her child well, mm -hmm then you'll find that uh, you, you are able to draw a line between rebellion mm -hmm. and uh, disobedience. Mm -hmm. So like now they are closing school. Mm -hmm. If they've been brought up well, mm -hmm. you'll be able to tell mm -hmm. my child has changed, mm -hmm. my child is tired, mm -hmm. my child is resistant, mm -hmm. my child has developed some other attitude. Mm -hmm. So as a parent, being that your children has come and they have closed the school, mm -hmm. My, my, my take would be mm -hmm. take time mm -hmm. to study your child. Mm -hmm. Take time to see the changes. Mm -hmm. Don't accuse mm -hmm. before you know exactly what is happening mm -hmm. for you to be able to draw a line between mm -hmm. rebelling and mm -hmm. being disobedient. What makes our children rebel in the first place? At what age do you now say, now this one is too much because maybe growing up, even the young ones, they also rebel. Yes. How do you correct them in love without uh, making them lose themselves? Okay. When a child is uh, growing, mm -hmm. you know, again, mm -hmm. being a pastor, mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says that we are born in sin. Mm. All of us were born in sin. Mm -hmm. And that's why you find even a kid, a mm -hmm. small kid, when she's trying to, to suck mm -hmm. her finger and you hit, she will know that what I've been doing is wrong. Mm -hmm. If you assume, you'll find that even when that person is aged, they'll be sucking their tongues because they were not trained. So it is start from birth. Immediately a child is born, and that's why you find in another region, they start whispering to their children. They start whispering. So what parents we fail, we fail to nurture from birth. Because when you start developing them, mm -hmm. then you are putting in them a sense mm -hmm. of knowing there is something good mm -hmm. and there is something that is bad. Mm -hmm. So as you bring them up, mm -hmm. And then at that toddler age, and especially we are living in the age of digital, mm -hmm. you can see a child who is barely three months, she's crying for a phone. <laughs> that is very true. Yes. Being in a digital world and mm -hmm. the kid is crying for the phone, eh? mm -hmm. you said it's nurturing and those people who whisper, mm -hmm. how do I help this person or how do I tell this is the right time to correct my child or mm -hmm. at this age I can tell my child 
this is wrong, this is right. Because in uh, most of our family setups, you'll find that uh, mm -hmm. a small kid, mm -hmm. let me use three years and below, yes. when he or she is doing something wrong, their parents say, Madonim Dogo. And uh, I believe that is the time that you nurture and correct. Eh? Yes. And uh, now, given, given say that, eh? mm -hmm. now if you don't correct that at that age, that mm -hmm. child grows knowing whatever I'm doing, it's okay. Absolutely. Then when uh, he or she is grown mm -hmm. to an age of six, seven, now you say, now mm -hmm. I can be able to beat. Eh? Mm -hmm. Now the child is confused. Mm -hmm. Before I was not being beaten when mm -hmm. I was doing this. So then now I'm being beaten. Uh -huh. Why? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, what I would say is, uh, mm. it's a mistake parents do. Mm. If you'd want to assume when your child is doing a mistake, mm. when she's small, mm -hmm. and you say in total mm -hmm. too, you are letting that seed of rebellion to develop and grow in him mm. or in her. Because then he or she will grow knowing mm. that's okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever I do, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's also said that uh, when a tree is growing, mm -hmm. straighten it. Mm -hmm. as young as that tree is mm -hmm. because when it has bent in its old age it's very hard to put it straight mm -hmm. and therefore you find especially when you see a child because it happens many times mm -hmm. when there are visitors in the house mm -hmm. that small kid mm -hmm. you realize when visitors are coming or are in the house she started showing her uh, showing this how we live yeah. this is our tv she wants to take a remote to control remote but when they're not visitors that child does not do those things but don't you think that is also when they want to be identified when they want to showcase eh? because i'll use myself as an example mm -hmm. when i when my son has his guest mm -hmm. since he's small one when the friends comes to visit mm -hmm. that is when he has to showcase mm -hmm. these are my toys mm -hmm. this is our tv this is the cartoons i like watching mm -hmm. now from that that one i allow mm -hmm. because those are have his friends, friends, his eh? friends absolutely. yes mm -hmm. so at that time mm -hmm. i can't i can't banish him so much because yes. that's his space mm -hmm. but now when it comes to my guests mm -hmm. my guests are not his guests mm -hmm. there is a certain way i want him to carry himself mm -hmm. now how do i draw how do i help this uh, how do you help me or the other parents who is listening now to draw a line mm -hmm. between now and also helping the child to understand when you're doing it with your friends, mm -hmm. it's okay. Mm -hmm. But when my friends are here, mm -hmm. this is wrong. That comes with training. Mm -hmm. That comes with training. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need, as a parent, you, ha you need to have a sitting with your children. Mm -hmm. Because training, it's not about shouting. Yeah. Training is sitting down with your children mm -hmm. and teaching them the ways. This is right, this is wrong. When I have guests in my house or in this house, you should know who are my guests. And you should be so disciplined enough. I mean, you need to draw boundaries with your children. When there are visitors in the house, I don't want you to keep on running up and about. Okay? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you do that, I will punish you. You need to articulate. Because punishing is not death. It's threatening. And then as a parent, when you tell your child, if you misbehave, I will, I will, I, I, I will I'll punish you. Make sure you do that, but punish in love. Because our children, they know us. They know us very well. If you tell a child, if you misbehave, I will do A, B, C, D. And then you don't do that. Tomorrow they'll repeat that because actually my mom says it and she doesn't do anything. It's a song, eh? It's a song. <laughs> you know? That is very true. Mm -hmm. I agree with that because mm. uh, we are told also that is also, uh, I, when, uh, when you say that it comes to my mind, uh, mm -hmm. even when you say that is when it comes to punishment. Yes. If you say I'm going to punish, mm -hmm. please punish. P please do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you say, if you do this the right way, mm -hmm. I'll present you or I'll gift you, mm -hmm. do it. Do it, exactly. Because now that is honoring your word. Absolutely. Because the next time you want your child to honor it, mm -hmm. and you're leading by example. Oh, yes. Because that, okay, to me that is how I take it. Mm -hmm. So if, if I'm coming out of the house and mm -hmm. I, 
mommy, what are you going to bring me? Mm -hmm. When I come back, I'll come back with a balloon. Yeah. Even though I'll forget, mm -hmm. if I forget, I'll go and say, the shops were closed, I forgot. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow, tomorrow oh, I'll this it. is your money. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, go buy it. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy it, but... And make sure when you give that money, mm -hmm. the child buys. Yes. That is true. Yeah, the child, if it was a balloon, let that child, child buy a balloon and bring it to you. Mm -hmm. Confirm he or she has bought a balloon. Accountability. Accountability. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What are those that have grown? Mm -hmm. When it comes, to, uh, you mentioned something to do, uh, knowing or studying your child to know, this child is tired. Mm -hmm. uh, this child is maybe sick. Mm -hmm. This child... We have the transition of hormones or imbalances of also body imbalances Absolutely. of the hormones, even mm -hmm. if the climate changes. Mm -hmm. You'll find that there's that kamud swing yes. from the small kid to the mm -hmm. young to the oldest, even us. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you tell now? How do you help to know now? This is uh, this. Uh, the parents, uh, mm -hmm. where with us parents, we'll find that in most cases, we don't want to understand our kids. Yes, eh? yes. Whatever we say, that's what we want it to go. Mm -hmm. um, how do you now tell this parent, at this angle, you should help your child for now the child not to rebel? Because now if he's tired, uh, mm -hmm. he won't do whatever you're do. asking. Yes. Yes. One... Mm -hmm. uh, we also must, uh, before we get to that point, we must also understand for a child to rebel, there could be some contribution on that. Maybe even you have brought your child well in the ways of God, but when she has gone out, she has been abused. You see? And you know when a child is abused, that affects esteem. And then you start seeing these children or that child start withdrawing. Mm -hmm. So at this point of withdrawal, mm -hmm. and now that the school have, have been closed, mm -hmm. you realize any time you mention something to your child, Anastuka, before you shout to that child, establish to know, because I'm seeing a different behavior with my child. What could have happened? Most of us parents, Tunasema, she's being rude. No. A lot is happening. We are in a society that is rude, mm -hmm. even more than what we are thinking. Mm -hmm. Maybe even a teacher in school have abused your child. Mm -hmm. If it's a, mis a mixed school, mm -hmm. other boys have uh, abused your child. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have body shamed your child. Mm -hmm. And she's just battling with that thing mm -hmm. in her. So if, as a parent, you fail to establish mm -hmm. The character of, and the behavior of your child, mm -hmm. as soon as the school closes, mm -hmm. you might end up mm -hmm. judging them wrongly. Mm -hmm. You might end up even thinking they are, they are rebellion. What about us parents who are not in an open converse, conversation with our kids? Or maybe because of now, there is a way when uh, you know your mom is here, mm -hmm. you dash, you hide. And now that Even if I'm having a burning issue to talk about, mm. I'm not able to, to echo it out to her because I feel that he's high, she doesn't have the time to listen. Mm -hmm. Because every time maybe I'm coming to ask for help, she's like banishing me, eh? yeah. uh, not listening. Mm -hmm. uh, how now do we go about that? Uh, that one, it's dangerous. And if I may mention, mm -hmm. that what has caused many suicidal cases. Mm -hmm. Because if as a parent you are not ready to listen to your child mm -hmm. and get to know the thoughts mm -hmm. that are running in her or in her mind, his or her mind, mm -hmm. you'll find that you mm -hmm. have bashed your child, mm -hmm. she will go close herself in the bedroom, mm -hmm. she'll be quiet. Mm -hmm. At that point you have allowed the enemy mm -hmm. to start processing mm -hmm. evil thoughts. Mm -hmm in your child. Mm -hmm. So thinking you're doing the right thing, mm -hmm. but also you're harming yourself. Mm -hmm. Because eventually, if suicidal thoughts get to your child, and you end up losing your child, mm -hmm. you'll forever live in pain. Mm -hmm. And this one, I'll call, I'll call parents to come out and be open mm -hmm. to their children. But that is not how we were brought up. Aha, uh -huh. we need to adjust. <laughs> change is inevitable. Yeah, true. If you don't change, change will change you. Yeah, sure. If you, if you get late to change mm -hmm. from what mm -hmm. and how we were brought up, mm -hmm. 
then we will be failures mm -hmm. of our generation. Mm. Because I want to believe, even what we received from our parents, they did their best. Yeah, sure. They did their best mm -hmm. as a parent. What mm -hmm. are you doing to your generation, to your children? Mm -hmm. If you fail now, mm -hmm. you are failing yourself. Mm -hmm. Because you will invite us to come and bury your child. And yeah. it will be painful mm -hmm. at that point. Mm -hmm. So my, my, I would be calling to, our, to the parents mm -hmm. that the school have closed. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I know most of us are career women, mm -hmm. career dads. Mm -hmm. Really, we are available in the house. Mm -hmm. We have left our children to house help. Mm -hmm. And you, I, I also know, I, I think you may have seen even in the social media, mm -hmm. how our house managers, some, mm -hmm. if they're not well treated, they revenge with the to kids. A, with the kids. Mm -hmm. So with this thing developing in our children, mm -hmm. and then you become an ab absentee, parent mm. it's the greatest harm you're doing to yourself my question comes in mm -hmm. in whose hands are we safe now with <sighs> that rebellious child with that rebellious child mm. that's what i now say keep praying for your children <laughs> <laughs> Keep praying for your children. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. these children, like we, we began by saying, it's training them. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned by saying they are a region that whisper mm -hmm. to their children. They voice out. Mm -hmm. You know, when a child is told this is wrong or this is right, the brain of a child has capacity to receive, to generate and regenerate faster. You, you get that? Yeah, so when you tell so a child something, mm -hmm. the brain are ready to receive. Mm -hmm. The antennas mm -hmm. are up. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I want to say is, if you teach them and train them in the ways of the Lord, and even teach them to listen to God and mm -hmm. hear God, because the story of Samuel in the Bible, mm -hmm. He had God when he was 12 years, I believe mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. in the temple. Mm -hmm. And he went to Eric and, uh, to Eri and asked him, mm -hmm. Who was calling me mm -hmm. so they have a capacity of hearing mm -hmm. so if they are well trained in the ways of god then mm -hmm. they can be safe in the hands of god oh, that is so true yes you said they have the antenna and yes. the ears to receive mm -hmm. that is at a young age at a very young age now that you have grown mm -hmm. you've become a teenager mm -hmm. you want to be accepted mm -hmm. you want to be accepted with your friends mm -hmm. you want to be accepted with your parents mm -hmm. you want to be accepted with your siblings yes now that is when now you start you want to echo out yourself mm -hmm. and then when you're echoing out yourself mm -hmm. that is when we see the rebellious part of you mm -hmm. because if you echo and we bash you or we we intimidate mm -hmm. your echoing mm -hmm. that is when you tend to rebel mm -hmm. now how do we now help this children or mm -hmm. these parents now mm -hmm. in both cases mm -hmm. because now we are also having the children listening to us yes. for them to transit from not being rebellious mm -hmm. from them to uh, be able to echo out yes. and another way to uh, I take rebelliousness as a way of protesting yeah absolutely you're protesting yes. you're not listening to me mm -hmm. I'm not going to listen to you mm -hmm. I'm not going to do what you say mm -hmm. um, there are those who go to an extent I don't know if it can it happens to yes. a hunger strike yes now yes. before we reach to that stage mm -hmm. or before we say we're advocating to that mm -hmm. how now are these children or these ones that want to be accepted mm -hmm. how are we as the parent supposed to take that uh, that comes brings in a point of mentorship mm -hmm. when the child is transiting from this age group, age group to this other age group mm -hmm. I advocate at that point a child must have mm -hmm. a mentor mm -hmm. if as a parent you're not able to converse with your child mm -hmm. or like you feel like your child is shying off mm -hmm. you can either get an auntie who is mm -hmm. so close to your children mm -hmm or an uncle, but also be very careful because we are in dangerous days where also you find aunties and uncles sometimes they may abuse your children, mm -hmm. but you have to get someone who is, who they can relate with, mm -hmm. someone who they can release mm -hmm. what they feel. Mm -hmm. Because in most cases, I do mentorship as well. Mm -hmm. So you find when you have these children and you ask them, so what is wrong with you and mom? So the child tells you, it's like mom does not want to understand me. You see, mom does not want to listen. Eh? So at that point, you bring sense to that child. Mm -hmm. You tell her, no, your mom wants to listen to you. 
if also you would sit down and listen to her. So engage in a dialogue. It's a two-way conversation. It's a two-way conversation. Let's hold on that point. We'll continue after the break. Thank you. Viewers, we are going to take a short break. We are going to be back. Uh, let's continue sending in our SMS, our comments, our chloros, all our social media handles. That's mm -hmm. GBS TV Africa. And our SMS line is 21144. We'll be back shortly. Everywhere, GBS. Welcome back, viewers. This is Chungu Chajami. Before we went on a break, we were talking about rebellion in children. On the show, we have Pastor Lydia, who is helping us to understand why do children rebel. And before we went on a break, Pastor, you were telling us about having mentors. Mm -hmm. What about mentors that do we need our child to have? Well, uh, about mentorship, for example, if you'd want your child to be a better child, to stand out, then you've got to get someone who has attained that standard. Someone that you'd love your child to, to, to look up to. You know? Someone that you'd love your child to, to be like, for example, uh, like now we are so much in social media. Mm -hmm. The people who have made it in life. Mm. And not the lies, because again, social media has too much lies. Mm -hmm. There are people, if I blame like someone like Steve Harvey, mm. Steve Harvey has made it in life. Yeah. So you'd like to sit with your child and make her know if you're watching your cartoons and everything, there's this gentleman and this is how he did things. Mm -hmm. So social media can mentor your child in the, well, in the best way. Mm -hmm. People can mentor your children in the best way. Mm -hmm. But also it can be either positive mentorship or negative mentorship. Mm -hmm. And therefore as a parent, you've mm -hmm. got to be very, very assertive and very careful mm -hmm. who is that mentor that is mentoring your child mm -hmm. because even if you assume mm -hmm. the role of mentorship mm -hmm. then social media is mentoring them <laughs> so as parents we need to be intentional mm -hmm. yes when you talk about intentional eh? mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned something to do when you're doing the mentorship and the counseling for these young girls and boys eh? yes they say that mommy doesn't seem to want to listen daddy doesn't seem to want to listen mm -hmm. um how now do we parents come in to make our children understand that we listen, but it's not everything that you want it to be done, that it's going to be done in the right way? And as, as parents, when do we gel in with our children and, and we forego some things? Mm -hmm. yeah. I would want to give a, a, a case study of a case I had some time back mm -hmm. of this child who has grown in the hands of the grandpa. Mm -hmm. and the grandfather mm -hmm. and yet both parents are arrived mm -hmm. but they were not responsible at some point mm -hmm. so the child was taken in by the by the parent of that of the father mm -hmm. so the child has been brought up well by the parent but now it has gotten to a point now the mother want to have the child yet she had left the child so whenever the child goes to visit with the mother because he lives with the uh, with the grandparents the mother instills bad vibes Mm -hmm. to this boy. Mm -hmm. So when the boy comes back to the house, he's, he's became, he started becoming rebellious mm -hmm. to the grandfather mm -hmm. and the grandmother. And one this particular day I was there, I had visited with them. So the child has come from visiting the mother because she stayed with the grandparents and he's banging the doors, shouting loudly. And I'm like, I called, uh, let me use K uh, Jeff, mm -hmm. not the real name. Mm -hmm. Jeff, what's up? What's wrong? Come and say hi to me. And the boy, no, 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 no. I don't want to start where grandma is. And I'm thinking, I've watched your grandma take care of you mm -hmm. for the last years of your, this young age, now you're a teenage. Mm -hmm. What is it? And then I'm like, uh, boy, just come to me. And the boy refused. Mm -hmm. So after like two minutes, I got away. Because now I'm a mentor, I got away of having the boy come mm -hmm. to me. And I'm like, tell me, what is it? Mm -hmm. And the boy like, is like, you know, m grandma does not give me what I ask. You know, she does not want me to go visit my mom. And I'm like, where have you come from? You know, grandma will shout to me. And I held that boy so close to me. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I want you to understand mm -hmm. now. Your grandma loves you so much. Mm -hmm. It's not that he does not, she does not want you to go. Mm -hmm. 
but there is a program. Mm -hmm. You are in school, you have to be in school, mm -hmm. and then when the school are closed, mm -hmm. you're given an opportunity mm -hmm. to go say hello. On that point of program, yeah, mm -hmm. you'll find that uh, it's also a struggle mm -hmm. that uh, when you have this program as a parent, mm -hmm. your child doesn't want to flow with the program. Mm -hmm. Now, you said a very good point. Mm -hmm. You hold the child close to you. Mm -hmm. That embrace and talking to the child, mm -hmm. it affirms I'm loved. Yes. I'm wanted. Yes. I'm not out of place. Absolutely. This is the right place for me to be. Mm -hmm. Now, in most, most of us parents, we don't have that. Eh? And that's why we fail. Because right? if yeah. you bang the door now, and oh. me, I rush, my adrenaline yeah. is like, yes. you are young. Mm -hmm. Why should you bang the door at me? I'm your mother. I've exactly. brought, up, uh, brought you up in pain. Now that one, it mm -hmm. becomes now to be, it, it starts to be Anger. a confrontation Anger between the parents and now the kid. Mm -hmm. And now that aggravates also the kid. Eh? Yes. The adrenaline, now mm -hmm. there is no one. Mm -hmm. And who who between us two is supposed to be the maturer to, to come down and listen because we, we both want to showcase our space. Again, this point is so strong. Mm -hmm. Let's be intentional parents. Mm. Because the person who can do great mentorship is a parent. Sure. Love your children. Mm. The problem that we greatly do is when we associate our issues that we have gone through in life Mm. with our children mm -hmm. and we want to release our bitterness to our children mm. so we fail to draw a line mm -hmm. between loving our children mm -hmm. and releasing our bitterness to our children mm -hmm. and you know children like i said their brain are very healthy and strong mm -hmm. they are able to pick negative vibes so easily mm. so the kind of vibes that we release to our children that the seed we give to them mm. so sometimes the rebellion mm. may have been contributed by a parent mm -hmm. who didn't show love to a child oh. you may have failed to receive love from your parent mm. but be intentional but again mm -hmm. if i was not brought up in love mm -hmm. how could how do i give out love because oh. mm -hmm. you see an apple doesn't fall far from the tree Yes. Now I'm the apple tree. Mm -hmm. My kid is the apple fruit. Mm -hmm. I was not brought in love. Mm -hmm. How do I give the love to my kid now? Can I bring it in a different way? Please do. You are not born an adult. Mm -hmm. You are born small, an infant. Mm. You grew. Mm. So there are changes you have been acquiring. Mm. You get? Mm -hmm. So if it has, in your own life, there are changes that you have been acquiring as, an, as a person. Mm -hmm. So it is possible even to acquire attributes mm. that you did not receive. Mm. But from where am I going to get these attributes? It's their inbuilt mm. as a person. Mm. As a person, also, we need also as parents to affirm ourselves. Mm. We are great, mm. we are important, mm. we are loved. Mm. Because the, the things you speak to yourself... That is what you are. That's what you are. Mm -hmm. And as I think Second Peter, First Peter 2, 9 and 10 says, mm. we are a royal priesthood. Mm. You a see, chosen a chosen nation. Yeah, sure. When you know who I am, mm. then you give the vibe. Mm -hmm. You don't give what you don't have. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't have, you can acquire. Mm -hmm. You learn. You learn. Okay. And uh, again, social media is teaching us many things. Mm -hmm. If your parent didn't give you, then go to social media. Mm -hmm. How can I love? Mm -hmm. How can I love my children? Mm -hmm. How can I be kind to my children? Mm -hmm. Let your brain transit also mm -hmm. to acquiring new things. Mm -hmm. Because also if you fail to learn, you mm -hmm. fail to grow. Yeah, sure. That is so true. Yes. Um, this, now that you're talking about rebelliousness, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you'll find the age bracket uh, for, for these uh, young boys or young girls that are transiting from these mm -hmm. toddlers, no, 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 not these young children to now maybe teenager. Mm -hmm. Let me use that with the teenager. Yes, yes. You'll find that they want to, to identify themselves. Eh? Mm -hmm. So you'll find that if you send this kid to the shop mm -hmm. or you've left, mm -hmm. you're just the two of us at home. Mm -hmm. There's those duties that I have left yes. and you come back. Mm -hmm. No duties done. Mm -hmm. No nothing done. Mm -hmm. When you ask lies upon lies upon lies, mm -hmm. how do I tackle that? 
because now it, it, it comes to a point that mm -hmm. as a parent, I'm like, mm -hmm. I've had enough of you. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I'm going to take you. Mm -hmm. And again, you can't throw your kid out. Oh, yes, you can. You have now, how do you now go about it now as a parent? Mm -hmm. And also as a child, mm -hmm. for because now that one may take it now. It's that is rebelliousness yes, because yes. I gave you work, you didn't do the task. Mm -hmm. You've been at home the whole day. Mm -hmm. Now, how do I now come back to this child with all the anger, mm -hmm. with all the stress, given that I'm coming from work? Mm -hmm. How do I now balance? So that I don't give too much pressure to this kid. Yes. And also do it in love. Mm -hmm. uh, what we need to do mm -hmm. in that case, mm -hmm. as a parent, you need to have a program with your child. That was the program? Yes. Wash I'm coming dishes. there. Uh -huh. I'm coming there. Okay. Sit down. Sit your child down. Mm -hmm. Let them know. Because mm -hmm. you're training them to become mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. you are trying to get that goodness in them. Mm -hmm. So give them a program. Tell them, do A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. Let them know when you are done, you are free to do anything else. Mm -hmm. Because what they are also struggling with, it's freedom. Yeah. At uh, that teenage age, they feel they, they want to be free. Mm -hmm. Mom, you also need to understand. So as a parent, before you rush to bash all release your anger to your child, mm. also understand their hormonal changes. Mm. There are things that are happening within your child. Mm. And it's no more. Mm -hmm. It's no more. Mm. So when you're able to counter that and to understand that, and then you come and you find that your child has not done what is supposed to be done, mm. just call your child. Find out why haven't you done ABCD. You'll find your child will tell you, I, was, I felt lazy. They, they, they express these days, mm -hmm. Mom, True. I was just lazy. I felt I want to sleep. And they want to do dishes in the evening. Let them know in your house there is order. Mm. When you will grow up, mm. those things you will do in your house. Mm -hmm. I don't have an issue with you. Mm. My house, and because you're my child, wake up in the morning. I'm, I'm training you to be responsible. Because mm -hmm. when I'm not there, mm -hmm. what, would you, what will happen with you? Mm -hmm. Bring a dialogue, a conversation mm -hmm. that will make sense to your child. Mm -hmm. Then get to know those children, because there are other children in her age or his age that have achieved. All right? Bring a, a, a case study of a child who have achieved mm -hmm. or who is doing well mm -hmm. and let your child get to know the traits. Mm -hmm. Let them, them know when you're lazy, you will not achieve. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Raziness will not pay. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to that point, let your children know you have to work. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then, if they don't work, mm -hmm. they are not uh, old enough to be punished. Mm -hmm. But punish them in love. I remember in our days, mm -hmm. our parents would used to punish us, eh? Because our days were the days of kati. Mm -hmm. eh? you, the house has been left for you to wash, utensils, everything. But your brain, and you're so active, you want to go play with other kids. Mm -hmm. At around noon, you realize your parents are about to come. That the moment you're rushing to the mm -hmm. house. Why? Because you know if you don't do it, you'll be punished. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. And you work, you do things faster. Mm -hmm. So let your children know, mm -hmm. if I don't do what I'm supposed to do, mm -hmm. my mom will not be happy. Mm -hmm. And then, like we said earlier, mm -hmm. let them know, uh, put some standard to them. In the response, don't react on things, but respond to things. Um, on responding and not reacting, mm -hmm. it's a very big challenge for yes. African parents. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. this child, you'll find a parent saying, mm -hmm. I've been correcting. Mm -hmm. I've been correcting, mm -hmm. I've been repeating myself, mm -hmm. I've been repeating, but I can't see any change. Mm -hmm. Now, how do I handle this child now? My child is coming back late, mm -hmm. at an age of 12. Mm -hmm. If maybe now it's holiday, uh, yeah. mom, you're having some practice in church, and because you want your 
child to be in church. Mm -hmm. Okay, you go. So in the afternoon, I'll be there. Yes. At what time are you coming back? Uh, they will end at 4.30. So by 5, I should be here. Okay. Come 5, nowhere mm -hmm. to be seen. Mm -hmm. 6, nowhere to be seen. 7 is when he or she is coming back home. Now and you're asking, where are you coming from? Mm -hmm. They'll have all kind of excuses. Yes. It doesn't happen once, twice, thrice. It happens countlessly. Yes. Now you've beat you. That that's the now. I, I I'm now thinking this mm -hmm. child has been beaten to an extent of the worst that my mom or dad can do is beat me. It's beat me. That's now, true. Now he's grown in you know something mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the kind of punishment you're giving or beating your beating. Eh? Yes. How now do we handle such a situation? Dialogue. Your child must know their consequences of the things that she's doing. If you feel your age, and maybe she's coming late because maybe she has a boyfriend, maybe she's in a group of girls or boys that are not straight, your child must know their consequences that he or she can only pay, and a parent may not pay. Though it might be painful to a parent, but at the end of the day, that child will be the loser. For example, mm -hmm. if she's a girl and she goes there and becomes pregnant, mm -hmm. and then she becomes a mother at a tender age, that's directed to her, although still directed to her parent. Yeah, sure. There is HNIV, AIDS. Mm -hmm. So they, they should be made to understand mm -hmm. their consequences of the behaviors mm -hmm. that they are doing. Mm -hmm. So in the dialogue, make them responsible of themselves. Let them know, I can't tie a thread on you to keep on following on you. I can't keep monitoring you, but be responsible of your own life. Mm -hmm. Whom do you want to become in future? Mm -hmm. Who are you thinking of yourself? Mm -hmm. When you have released those signs in that dialogue, mm -hmm. even when your child is out with other girls or boys, there's something that reminds her or him, this is not the person I want to become. That is so true. Yes. Think of who you want to become. Yes. And also nurture in the right direction with yes. dialogue. With dialogue. A very challenging word to yes. an, an African parent indeed. Mm -hmm. We'll take a short break. Yes. We'll continue from here. Thank Viewers, you. we're going for a short break. Uh, let's continue sending in our question and our comments across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is to the Buanda before. We'll be back shortly. Everywhere, GBS. Welcome back, viewers. This is your show, Chungu Chajami. Today, we are talking about rebellious in children. On the show, I have a host, Pastor Lydia, who is helping us to understand why are our children rebellious. How are we as parents going to handle these rebellious children so that they don't have a negative or a bitterness toward the society of also having their self low self-esteem in themselves pastor before we went on a break we were talking about you mentioned something to do with uh, dialogue yeah? yes that help, that has made me think mm -hmm. we have with our generation right now mm -hmm. we are having a lot of single parents yes. the single mothers the single fathers mm -hmm. uh, we have the single fathers with their daughters mm -hmm. the single mothers with their sons mm -hmm. or the other way around mm -hmm. for those single fathers with their daughters mm -hmm. there are those things that you can't put across correctly because she's a girl yes you're a man. yes and now this child want to have a self-identity yes and now the child, you'll find the child in as much as you told the opposite uh, attract each other. Mm -hmm. The child may have this sense of fear, mm -hmm. not able to echo out because being the male dominant and this is a girl, yeah. there's that sense of fear mm -hmm. and reveal of how do I explain this to my dad? Mm -hmm. How do I talk it out? Mm -hmm. And these kids also being used to take, you know, for the men, Sorry if I'm wrong, but mm -hmm. they're used to giving instructions. Yes, yes. Having that dialogue, mm -hmm. it's kind of a no-go zone for them. 
Most of them. Most of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you help this kind of single parent mm -hmm. who is having a child who is rebellious mm -hmm. and is getting tired with the daughter, with the son, because he's not listening. Mm -hmm. He's not able to have this dialogue because mm -hmm. uh, if you're if I'm used to you giving instructions and you're not ready to listen to me, mm -hmm. the next thing I'll do, I'll shut. Mm -hmm. I'll not talk to you. If you give me instruction or you bring now a dialogue that you're ready to talk, mm -hmm. I will just block there. Yes, I don't want anything to. Because again, as parents, we have a strong thing of doing this. Huh? Mm -hmm. When I echo out, mm -hmm. you, whatever I say, you'll use it against me. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, what I would say on that mm -hmm. is um, there's, I don't know, I would call it a proverb or something, mm -hmm. that when a baby is born, belongs to a society. Uh -huh. When a child is born, belongs to a society. Mm -hmm. How do I explain that? Mm -hmm. When a woman is pregnant, mm -hmm. she alone carries the baby. Yeah, sure. When that happened, no, no one knows how it happened. Mm -hmm. But then we can see manifestation when the woman mm. carries, carries the baby. Mm -hmm. And you're the only person who can carry that baby. Mm. But when that child is born, mm. we get the Ushugia things, mm -hmm. the, that celebration. the celebration. Mm. So people come in mm. to welcome this child to the world. Mm. And at that point you find that uh, your child is taken, everyone wants to hold your child. Mm. That basically says that mm. your child is not your child alone. Mm. You should not die. Mm. with your child mm. if he or she becomes rebellious. Mm. Do you have an auntie or a sister, for example, you are a single mother, mm -hmm. you have a sister whom your daughter loves as an auntie and they can cope and they can share. Be open to your sister. Tell her my daughter is ABCD. When she visits with you, in a wise way, I want you to help me handle ABCD. Mm -hmm. I want you to echo me, mm -hmm. but in a lovely way. Because, you know, th th there's a, a connection of mm -hmm. uh, children with aunties and uncles. Mm -hmm. uh? If you're a single father and you feel there are things you, you can't tell your girl, and you have a sister that is so close to you, tell your sister, you know, this, uh, my daughter is ABCD. I want you to help her in one way or the other. I have so many people who call me. And they tell me, you know what, Pastor? My daughter is ABCD. And because you have something with children, I want to plan a visit where you will come. So I'll, and I'll go. So at that point, I'll start a dialogue with the child. Mm -hmm. And uh, shortly, I may step out with the child. Is it a boy or a girl? I'll step out, I'll go do something a little bit, like buy something for them, engaging in a conversation. Then. In the topic the mother or the father had mentioned, I bring it in a very wise way and then we start discussing. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I want to get the mind of the child. So getting the mind of the child is the most important the thing. The most important thing. Do we parents have the time to get our children's mind? We are busy parents, unfortunately. And now, how does that affect our children? They go rewards. Uh -huh. They are trained by social media. Uh -huh. They are trained. They, they, they are trained by bad peer pressure mm. teams. I mean, the things that will happen to them. Mm -hmm. I remember there's another movie I watched some years back. Mm. These children were being. The father was a busy father traveling, mm -hmm. and it's good because they are looking for mm -hmm. to bring up their family. Mm -hmm. And uh, the mother is a career woman, mm. so the child was always with the, either the house manager or the TV. So at some age, 13, 14 years, she's been mentored by the TV. So she started behaving the things that she's seeing. So when the mother came to, like, wanted to confront the child, the child was all to the mother, mother, mom, where have you been? Dad, where have you been? I'm doing what I've been seeing. It's okay. I've been on TV. That what would you do? Oh, what, that what? is a key thing. Yeah, As that's parents, a key. we should understand. We should understand. Mm -hmm. And then get to know our mess. Mm -hmm. Where did I mess? Do we parents accept our mess? We are proud are to do that. Are we ready to say sorry to our kids? We need to. We are very proud because you, you don't want to go low down yeah, at the end of the day. It is. <laughs> 
It is. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. When you say sorry, sorry so this. Yeah, it does. Yes. Mm -hmm. Th there is something that comes with sorry. Mm. If your child tells you, Mom, mm -hmm. you did A, B, C, D. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize I did that to you. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Oh, that's why you're behaving that way. Mm -hmm. That's why you're doing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Have you forgiven me? Then your child will tell you yes or no. Mm -hmm. So if the child has forgiven you, then at that point, engage mm -hmm. a dialogue. Mm -hmm. So dialogue is key. Mm -hmm. It's key. We can't, miss, we, we, we can't bring them out without a, without a dialogue. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the world will train them. Mm -hmm. What happens to this child mm -hmm. that is in this kind of environment uh, where now we are talking about the parent not being there mm -hmm. or the parent is there but the parent is the dictator parent eh? mm -hmm. and the society where she is she only find console with her friends or his friends mm -hmm. but when it comes to the, fam the, the family that is around that area mm -hmm. everyone is like pointing a finger to you now you're seeing it's like munanionea that is what they say. The parents or the children? The child. The child. The child now. Yeah, and, you, and it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Because in that case, you affect their esteem. Because mm -hmm. if the parent was not there, and then things are happening and you're pointing at that child, do you know the likelihood of that, of that child going even further is very high? So instead of blaming, it's called uh, mind, brain, uh, mind game. Mm -hmm. Mind game and blame game. Yeah, mind game and brain game. Mm -hmm. It's bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a community as well, we need to be careful. Because mm -hmm. uh, if we bully our children, mm -hmm. if I bully your child, mm -hmm. I should be rest assured that my child will be bullied somewhere. Because mm -hmm. whatever <laughs> goes around comes around. Comes around. There's this one thing that uh, I would like us to talk about before mm -hmm. we wind up. Uh, this child mm -hmm. uh, that is growing up, mm -hmm. um, my mom always tells me mm -hmm. with my young son, mm -hmm. when I'm having a house manager, mm -hmm. don't beat your child in front of the house manager. I agree. And another one that I learned Mm -hmm. Don't beat your child in front of his mm -hmm. or her friends. Good. Because you're making the self-esteem to go low mm -hmm. in front of the peers. Mm -hmm. And in front of the house girl, now the house girl knows mm -hmm. uh, this is the trend. Oh, yes. Of beating. Yes. So even if you're not there, mm -hmm. that is the, the trend. trend. Mm -hmm. And you'll find maybe the trend of beating comes with a blackmail. Oh, yes. You see? And mm -hmm. also being a career woman or a career father, you don't have the time to sit down with your kid. Mm -hmm. So you don't know the kind of abuse this guy, the mm -hmm. child is going through. Mm -hmm. So I have this person in mind of, mm -hmm. uh, this kid in mind of going through that. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this kid has been brought up to a addic true addictive parent, mm -hmm. not able to echo out. And now there is this thing of uh, parents saying, and I don't know how we are going to correct it as parents. Mm -hmm. Your child is doing wrong and you're saying, um, I'm so tired with you. Mm -hmm. I'm just asking you. Could you just go somewhere. It's if dangerous. children can be, can be gifted in the weddings as gifts, I, you would be the first giver to get give away. It's dangerous. It's, for me, I find it, we say it out of anger, out mm -hmm. of bitterness. But to me, it dawns in like, mm -hmm. how it gets to the child, I'm not wanted here. Mm -hmm. If my... Rejection. Yes. That comes as that rejection. Is the Actually, that is the word. Mm -hmm. Rejection because if my parents feel that he can gift me yes. to someone else, mm -hmm. um, he's already tired with me. Absolutely. Now, that one also brings now the rebellious part of it because... I'm yet to identify myself. Mm -hmm. I'm yet to know myself. Yes. He is my parent. Instead of helping me, he's mm -hmm. the one who is bashing, bashing me. Mm -hmm. The school, when the teacher is complaining, mm -hmm. when uh, the parent is called in school, mm -hmm. you're not also able to help this child 
or correct, you're actually teaming up with the teacher. Yes. I'm not saying it's wrong to team up with the teacher, especially when the kid is wrong. Yes. But before we get to understand, I feel that as parents, we fall, we fall short of that. Mm -hmm. Getting to know what is the cause of it. And also, right now, we are having teachers, some teachers mm. who have no time also. Because when we were growing up, there were those few teachers who will take time. Mm -hmm. Knowing that, being that you've been in this school from this class to this class, mm -hmm. I have known you. Yes. You are listening before, but now you're not yeah, listening. So before I call your parent, mm -hmm. I'll sit you down. Mm -hmm. Because if I call your parent, mm -hmm. now this will escalate. Yes. And uh, I'm going to lose you. Mm -hmm. So before I call out, mm -hmm. I want to get you closer. Mm -hmm. Do we still have those, pa those teachers? Do we have those parents? Parents, I know there are those few. few. Now, how do we go about it? Now, this teen mm -hmm. is struggling and fighting with all these close people, but yet there are those people against him. How he? Again, I say it is dangerous to our community and our society. If we do the statistic, a statistic of the children who have killed themselves, and they have left suicidal notes. Some of them would say, my mom said I'm not important. Mm. So that child has been battling that statement for the longest time, that rejection. And it's unfortunately, our kids these days, they don't have stamina to hold to too much pain. So we abbreviate them. We kill them with our own mouth with our own words. Because the Bible says that words has power. That would be my point to the parents. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's up to us. Being busy or being not busy. The words that we tell our children, we either build them mm -hmm. or we tear them down. Mm -hmm. And if I'm a parent, I'll tear my child down. Mm -hmm. Then that boy or girl goes to the society or to the community mm -hmm. and they receive the same things. Mm -hmm. He will battle with low self-esteem mm -hmm. and rejection mm -hmm. and hatred mm -hmm. and he will feel the society does not like me. Mm -hmm. And if the society does not like me, if my family does not like me, then I'm useless. I'm useless. Mm -hmm. So we need to change on that narrative. Mm -hmm. We need to change and start loving our children. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's hard, but I said change is inevitable. Yeah, change is surely inevitable. So we need to change as parents mm. and agree mm. to become the best mothers and fathers. Uh, we are running out of time. All right. I'd like us to have a parting shot okay. from you. Mm -hmm. A message to our children mm -hmm. and our parents mm -hmm. how to go about it from now with the knowledge that they have acquired right yes. now, mm -hmm. because I've learned a lot myself, mm -hmm. and how to go about it, mm -hmm. what would you say? What I would say is, uh, if I start with a child, the Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 11, this is God speaking to us, even mm -hmm. the parents, mm -hmm. for the plans I have for you, mm -hmm. not for evil. Mm -hmm. It's not to harm you, mm -hmm. but to give you hope future and prosperity uh -huh. so there is a hope for every child mm -hmm. even if your people or your parents says you're not important mm -hmm. from god perspective mm -hmm. you are important sure. there's a purpose and there is a plan for god mm -hmm. in your life mm -hmm. for the parent who is bringing that child just know that you're a custodian of the mm -hmm. works of god and mm -hmm. the art of god mm -hmm. so do the best to impress god mm -hmm. Because he has entrusted you with your kid. Sure. So when you have been given a nice gift, you need to nurture that gift. Mm -hmm. So we need to be good custodian of our children, mm -hmm. have dialogue with our children, mm -hmm. love our children, mm -hmm. understand and listen. Mm -hmm. We need to give time to our children. Mm -hmm. We need to know that there are, also to, there are some transitions of life. Understand when their hormones are up, when they are slowing, when they are fast, and know when to engage know when it is time to punish, when, when it's time to affirm, when it's time to uphold. Mm. So when we do it that way, we will not miss out. We will bring the best generation ever. Uh -huh. That is so wise and so true. Be the best custodian mm. and be accountable of your custody towards God. Mm. That is so good and so wise. 
viewers, we have heard it all from our pastor, Pastor Lydia, and the questions that we've been asking ourselves or the struggles that we've been facing with our children being rebellious to us as, as parents. We've learned a lot. I've learned a lot personally. It was so nice having you on show, Pastor Lydia. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much for sharing the knowledge and the insight with us. I appreciate. Thank you. Viewers, we've come to the end of our show. This was Chungu Chajami. We were talking about rebellions in children. Let's continue this conversation across all our social media network. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 2 double 4 See you next time. Thank you.